Shalom, do you have Ram, uh, your Ramya coming again, <coughs> giving all praise to the Most High, help Hashem Yosheh, by Hashem Rakha, Kodash. Um, yeah, it's coming with a very, very quick impromptu on the word God, man, because there's a lot of, still out there, a lot of people ignorant towards the meaning of the word God, okay? Because you get offended when we pull out Psalms 82 and 6 and it says, I have said that ye are gods. Okay, because a lot of you, when you think of God, you think of the word God, you think of um, the Most High, Yahweh, and you ain't going off, but just thinking that that's his name is going off, okay, because he is a God, he is the God, if you want to put it that way, for understanding's sake, okay, but the word God goes much deeper, and the word God is not his name, because God is a state of being, it's a title, okay, it's a state of being essentially, it's not a name. It's not a proper name, okay? So anyway, Psalms 82 and 6 says, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Okay? Now, for those of you that know a thing or two about the Hebrew, Lashu and Kadash, you would see that this sentence itself is spelling out Israel. <laughs> okay? Because um, I have said that ye are gods. Now, the word for God in 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 Lashu and Kadash is Allah okay in the in the Yiddish which is not the true Hebrew which these fake Ashkenazi so-called Israelite slash Jewish people use in their Hebrew they would say Elohim or Allah okay because Allah means God and the Yim or M at the end makes it plural Elohim okay but we don't go by that in the faith in the spirit we go through um, we will use the Lashwan Kodash which we believe to be the true ancient Hebrew the Paleo Hebrew as it's known in history okay and the word for God is pa um, is Allah okay which means God power judge Lord okay Allah so here is saying I have said that ye are gods so it's plural okay so yes we are of a monotheistic uh, belief system but there's more than one God man and that's gonna bug a lot of you people out because you don't understand the meaning of the word God okay God means uh, power judge Lord okay but this is the this is where um, the, the, the the knockout comes it says and all of you are children of the most high now why why do we um, um, why is one of the titles of the of um, the Heavenly Father the most high okay because essentially um he has made us from himself that we that means we are like unto him okay that's why scripture says in genesis we are made in the image of the father that means we are like him but on a lower level okay so out of all of his created which he has made like unto himself he is the highest of it okay and he is the only of it in the sense that he is the only creator he's the only one that had the blueprint that's why Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 says um shama ya sharala yahawa ala khayna wa yahawa akhad okay and for you brothers out there you're meant to pray that man every day okay Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 shama ya sharala yahawa ala khayna wa yahawa akhad okay hey oh israel the lord our power and the lord our god the lord is one Okay, because it's from that singular power source, that singular power, the Most High, came the blueprint down to your house, right, down to the angels, down to the prophets and the men of the Lord, and we are made in His image. Okay, so all of and it says, and all of you are sons of the Most High. Now, what's that in Hebrew? Yasharala, He is the Prince of the Power. Now, what? How do you say power in Hebrew? As I said earlier. One of the ways to say power is Allah. One of the ways to say judge is Allah. One of the words uh, ways to say Lord is Allah. Okay, so he he's saying I have said that you are Allahs or Allah Hayam, because the Yam in Hebrew makes a word plural. So Allah is singular. You add the Yam to it or the Yam, okay, it becomes Allah Hayam, which means powers, gods. So he's saying that we are gods in the. Now, does it mean that um, we are the same level as the Most High? 
Most I forbid, no. But what it means is that we are of the essence of the Most High, okay? And we are his children. Now, is the child greater or better than the, than the parent, than the father? Is the newborn son on the same level as the father? No. That's cheeky because, first of all, which cuts that whole uh, debate, the newborn son came from the father. So how the hell can you be better than the person that created you? And second of all, besides that, the newborn knows nothing, the newborn depends on the father, the newborn wants to be like the father, the newborn aspires to be like the father. Now, with, well, now will the newborn eventually one day and become his own man? Yes. Will he become his own power? Yes. But even in his father's old age, and he becomes a fully grown man, he will never be as great as his father, because his father is the ancient one. The older one, that's why another title of the Mosa is the Ancient of Days, because he himself invented the concept of time. But anyways, we ain't gonna get into that one. So that's how we are gods. Now, um, we gonna go over to um, Genesis chapter one, verse one. It says, "In the beginning um, was the Word." Now, so lucky. This is John chapter one, verse one, and it says, "In the beginning was the Word." And the word was with God and the word was God. So a lot of you people say, ah, oh, that proves that Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, but that proves that Jesus is um is uh, a <coughs> the same as the most high and they're equal. Okay? But let's rearrange the words now. Not rearrange, but let's put in the proper words now. Because this English is corrupt and the and the apocrypha tells you that okay, speech art in another language have not the same strength or power, okay? things as those words uttered in Hebrew so you gotta go to the Hebrew okay so in the beginning is um, in the Hebrew Barashaya bar, or Barashaya bah, or, or Barashaya in the Hebrew yes it's Barashaya okay let's forget him for a second but the word is Barashaya but in Ha the uh, Shaya means the in in the the beginning, okay. That's Salakia. That's that's for Genesis, because I pulled up that precept as well. It says in the beginning God created. That sentence is um, Barashayath, okay. But as for John one and one, it says in the beginning was the Word. Now the Word is talking about Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. The Word was with God and the Word was God, okay. So it's, that's why that's the point I was getting. That people say, "Oh, look, see, it says that he's God, but he's the same as God." All right. Well, it says in the beginning was the Word. So the Word is your house, shy, and the Word was with God. That means there's more than one power there. So it's talking about um, it's talking about uh, uh, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, and the Word was God. Now because Yahweh Shai is the first spirit from um, Yahweh So he is a God Likewise we are spirits from Yahweh So we are gods Alright But just because he was with the Most High Just be hey, And we're with the Most High now How are we with the Most High? Or uh, first of all who's with the Most High? The elect from the apostles and the elders and down man And how are we with the Most High? Because the scriptures say that if he opens our portal our mind to this truth he will come down and sup with us and we shall sup with him so when we're in the spirit we're with the most high so we are with the most high because of this knowledge he gave us this knowledge through Hamashat Yahushai to buy us back all right into being his children again so we are with the most high on a low level right now we will be perfectly in the kingdom but we are with the most high now okay so does it mean that we are on the same level as the most high does it mean that we are the most high no the Lord, for, Lord forbid, Yahweh forbid. So, therefore, how can Yahweh Shai be um, the same, on the same level as his father, man? All, this, all that verse is saying in John 1 and 1 is that the word Yahweh Shai was with the most high power and he himself was a power. So, how the hell does that mean, oh, he is the same? You, you people, man, have no right having ownership of the Bible, man. Hey, but you can buy all the Bibles you want, write all the books you want. The Most High did not open the majority of you people's eyes, man, to see this thing. 
So you just gonna get cut by the scriptures, man. And you're going to get confused thinking you're a doctor and a, a writer on the scriptures. You don't know a damn thing, man. This is Genesis chapter 1. It says, In the beginning, God, I read it how it's written. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And it goes on, okay? But that sentence is the one I was saying in, I was trying to say in Hebrew earlier. Barashayath, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. All right? Now you got to go down to the basics again, man, for the words there. Because it says uh, in Hebrew, um, Barashayat al Hayam. Now, al Hayam is the word there in the Hebrew because the, the name Yahweh doesn't appear in Genesis, okay, or in the creation story, or the creation account, I should say. Alright? It's al Hayam. Alakhayam, first of all, that tells you that the Heavenly Father wasn't unknown in creation. Concerning the creation of the world, the planet, who was present? The Mosai himself, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the first begotten spirit or the first spirit of the Mosai, and um, the Malakyam, or the other Alakhayam, which is the angels. That's the basic breakdown. Okay, because um, the Mosai really didn't do anything. Okay, he had the blueprint as always from the beginning. That's why scripture says the Mosai is the same and he changed if not. Okay, same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The Mosai had the blueprint, yeah, and he passed it down to Yahusha, and Yahusha led the angels and they created the heavens and the earth. That's why it says Alachayam, or in the in the in the Yiddish we say. Um, Bereshiyeth Elohim, meaning the powers, but in the Lashon Kodesh, not much different, but we go by that because that's the true Hebrew. Bereshiyeth Al Chayam, which means in the beginning the powers created. So the blueprint came from the Heavenly Father. He said, "Look, you go make light from this." He gave them the knowledge because they got the spiritual power. You go make this. You go make that. This is the blueprint. This is how I want this out. This is the color I want of that. This is the way I want of that. This is the way I want this to be positioned. All of that, and how I just said, "Can't." Okay, we, you gotta you gotta visualize this stuff, man. Cause if you don't, you just read it and you ain't gonna get it. Okay, you gotta visualize the scriptures. Okay, he gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai and Diego went and made it. Okay, so the Mosai made it through his what? The firstborn spirit, Yahweh Shai, and the angels. That's how it goes. So that proves to you that the word God, okay, doesn't only refer to the Mosai himself, Yahweh. He is the most high, he's the Akhad, which means he's the, the one. Uh he's the one um most high power. There's no other most there's not most highs. There's only one most high, singular, echad. That's why um Deuteronomy six verse four says Shema Yasharala Yahawa Lahayanawa Yahawa Echad. Yahawa is Echad. He is the most high separate power. Holy of holies separate, okay? But then he's created other powers or other gods beneath him to be like him, which is Yahweh Shai, the angels, and the elect. Okay? Now, essentially, everybody of all nations come from the Most High because the spirit can never die, alright? But he's, he's set apart spirits, okay? Because he, he had all spirits there in the beginning with him, man, which he created. He said, Look, I'm going to make some of you. The, the evil I'm going to make some of you the irrelevant nations and that's the truth I'm going to make some of you my people Yasharala Israel then in Israel I'm going to make some of you reprobates I'm going to make some of you fall off I'm going to make some of you my elect okay and Lord willing the Haratazar which means Lord willing we are part of the elect alright the Yadayayam which means the be the beloved okay or in the in the in the Yiddish they say Yedidim which means the beloved of the Mosai which is his elect okay and that's the position we're fighting for man but hopefully that's proved to you that the Mosai's name is not God and he has created gods okay and we are all gods and you get the understanding of the word God okay but no, don't ever let that make you think that anyone or any spirit is on the same level as the Most High, man. That like these Christians say, oh, Yahweh is the same as the Heavenly Father. No. 
because Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 clearly says, I'll say it again in the Lashon Kodash, Shammai, Yasharallah, Yahawah, Alahayanawa, Yahawah, Echad. Okay? And for you brothers, man, that say you don't need the Hebrew, you ain't in the spirit, man. Okay? You ain't got to be perfect, but you got to know the basics, man. And that's one of the basic blessings, one of the basic prayers, man. Okay? I can't tell you what to do, but every morning, man, three times, hey, scripture says recite that um, evening, morning, and, and noon, man. So you got to pray that prayer, man. Okay? But every morning, personally for me, I wake up, that's the, that's the prayer I recite, man. Okay? You face the east, you raise your hands, you give thanks to the Most High for giving you another day, okay? A hey, and watch out for um, uh, brother Yakal, man, because he's been uh, he's the spirits on him to 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 do a series on how to actually keep the laws, man, okay? So Lord willing, those videos gonna be coming out, man, okay? And actually how to do, because we talk about it, but actually how to do it, man. Hey, the Lord is putting the spirit on the prophets to break this thing down, put it on a plate for you, man. So if you don't get it, you really can't blame the Mosai or the men, man. Because we've been putting in the work and the Mosai has put the material out there, man. Okay, it's so for you to read. That's why scripture says in Revelation, blessed is the man who readeth, man. And behold, I come in the volume of the book, says Yahweh Shai, man. So you've got you to um, understand this, this, uh, this gospel, man, which is the Bible. Okay? But I'll say it again, man. The spirit's on me, alright? In the mornings, pray Shema Yasharallah Yahawa Alachaya Nawa Yahawa Echad. Here, O Israel, the Lord our power, O God, the Lord is one, man. Okay, but hopefully this quick video has been a encouragement, uh, edification on the word God, man. All right. So with that, I'll give all praise to the Most High. Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Kau Hala Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Bashem Hamashak Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakach Dash. Okay. And double honor to the apostle and the heroes of great millstone. And all you brothers out there teaching this word in truth and pushing this word in truth and sincerity. It's brother, you're around me, I'm logging off now. With that, I'll say, Quran, Mr. Rala, and Shalom.